Welcome to the Reporter's Voice in the 21st Century. My name is Rilo Bonene and I'll be taking you throughout the times of Swaziland. Located in the heart of Swaziland, the Times of Swaziland is a media that covers all kinds of news, such as gossip news, sports, business, crime, as well as advertisement. Following this media has, uh, for the past few days, have, have made me to realize that reporters do not have the same voice. The Times of Swaziland newspaper is mainly tabloid because it is much smaller than broadsheet and it covers national as well as international news. For some reasons, this media has played a major role in bringing all the information together about the Minister of Tourism as well as Environmental Affairs, Mr. Mark Fotsibanze. It is believed that after Swaziland Tourism Development Company Limited sold and Shangana Hotel, Sun and Casino, the minister has been illegally spending the funds for his external travel. This media has not avoided bias because the news covered information that besides Mr. Markford Sibanze, some of the government officers have also illegally used over 1 million Malangini for ST, from STD investment accounts. But still the news spread it around with only one culprit's name. The negative words with a certain connotation that was directed to Markford Sibanze uh, uh, by the Prime Minister of Swaziland has just made the, the whole issue to be biased. This media did not cover it clear if the solution has been yet provided and heard uh, from the other side of the story. This media should not have come to its own conclusion before gathering all information from all sources involved in this matter. This media has kind of used uh, uh, different languages, or I may say, the media has made it uh, very hard for reviewers to understand the whole story with different uh, headlines. Lastly, the media also covered that heavy rains uh, that was experienced by Swazis, which were more likely to be a tropical cyclone and were heading straight to Swaziland from Madagascar, but the nation not only escaped the cyclone. Thank you for having me as your reporter's voice reporter and have yourself a wonderful